Hello, hello, welcome back. Today we're going over a very, very fly truck. I really dig this thing. We got a 72 Cheyenne C10. This thing's got a lot of goodies under the hood. A nice redone 350, some big old billet wheels, all that Cheyenne trim, houndstooth buckets, consoles, AC, disc brakes, the list goes on. Tune in with us, here we roll. I like to start these videos right up front. This is a Southern truck. It's been freshly redone. The paint is killer. I'd give it a 10 out of 10. It is very nice fitment all around, the bright work, this nice big uh, egg carton grill on these, the chrome, everything is stellar. The lights, the lenses, all that good stuff is working. Our hood release is right here. And we got that nice dressed up 350. So we've got a couple upgrades on there. You see that nice little intake manifold dressed up in the Holly um, fin valve covers and air cleaner. One thing I really dig on these old trucks, and it was standard on this one, the AC. We've got a CPP uh, power to spray booster over there, um, chromed up alternator, a nice set of headers, and a bit of a uh, power steering down low for you. Um, very clean. Nice radiator, all new hoses, condenser, everything up front. This thing's tidy as hell. Um, here we go. Now when we're talking about trucks like this for, for show and go, cruising type of thing, you're really gonna be glad we got these disc brakes. You're really gonna be glad we got uh, power steering and then the AC to cap it all off. We like to cruise these on sunny days. Definitely, definitely like it with the windows down. When you can blow it cold, that is always great too. Um, a signature, signature thing, which takes this one up another notch, is this dual row of trim you're looking at there. That is part of the Cheyenne package. This was a very classy truck back in the day. Maybe the, the boss's truck at that. Um, we just combed over those hot, hot 20 inch billet wheels. We've got a fresh looking tailgate. The Chevrolet down on that lower piece of trim is in excellent, excellent shape. And one little attention to detail, if that camera can see it, I mean, that's the stuff that uh, often gets looked over and it's in brand new, brand new stuff. Voila, got some more new parts around here. Did a very, very nice job. This looks like a, a new bed floor in here. These white wheel tubs look sexy. Look at that big back window. This one, being a Cheyenne, she even got optioned with that cargo light. That is cool to have. And the lenses, the bezel around that looks excellent as well. Let me show you this closing up here. Voila, voila. All right, I'll take you down this side. Um, we're looking at a short bed here, if I didn't mention it and this bedside it's an excellent shape it's straight we'll get it up in the air for you later but up under here everything's clean as a whistle solid solid truck um, rockers cab corners everything's in magnificent sh uh, shape got new seals around here new seals new seals new glass new trim this is a a fully done up truck and uh it's made turnkey for for whoever's into it um i know i definitely am um how about we cut to the interior some very sharp door cards for you new door seals um, the list goes on with new components in this truck um, one thing you don't see too often is buckets in a c10 i think they look killer in here um, they feel so much sportier and then to do it like this, the white with the hound's tooth, this is super, super kick-ass. And the cherry on top 
These are like needle in the haystack these days if you're after these parts, is the center console with the cup holders instead of the cigarette holders, which is cool. Um, very, very clean piece. And then if, I crimped up the cord here. Now, if that isn't your cherry on top, some might argue it's this headliner. This keeps screaming class. This is a, a highly optioned thing. Um, I dig it top to bottom. We got new carpet, new dash pad, a um, bunch of new uh, little beauty work in here, new steering wheel. And then take a little peek at this. Looks like your old school radio, but this is actually the retro sound updated head unit. So you lose all that static. You don't struggle to find the channels and tune it in. It's 2022 tech in the 72 C10. Don't get much better. Um, new dash pad, we got the defroster vents. Being this uh, factory AC truck, it didn't have to reinvent the wheel and mount a bunch of uh, extra vents under here. They actually came factory right through the dash. So that's super cool. Visors look good and they hold firm no matter where you put them. Got a new mirror. Man, this is a, a crisp truck. And I keep saying new seals um, all around all the glass. This rear piece of glass, all that is new. And uh, on top of that, the glass is in, in impeccable shape. No scratches, no chips, nothing too disappointing here. Um, this truck too, not all of these came with it. it, has an RPM gauge, cool to have, you're high riding around. Um, this one going up to uh, 5,000 RPMs. And then other than that, we got a speedo over here, fuel gauge, oil pressure, temp and battery. Um, this truck showing 64,000 miles. Super, super sweet ride. I will let you hear a little clip. And I almost forgot to mention, tilt column truck. This is uh, now a one size fits all, really. Another kick-ass thing to have, but let's hear this thing. All right guys, we got it up in the air. Wanna give you a quick tour front to back. Um, starting up front, how we make this truck handle and sit the way it does to achieve this stance. We've got a drop kit from Belltech. We've got a thick old sway bar up here. We've got their lowering springs and their drop shocks. So those are new parts, very few miles on them like this whole truck has here. Um, some ceramic coated headers, disc brakes. We keep going back here. Um, I see some new body mounts. It's like all original rockers, cab corners, everything. You don't get that fold without disturbing something. Um, you look at the bottom of this bedside. Take a peek up at those wheel tubs. That is impressive. Those are very, very clean. They're gloss white and wet sanded, just as smooth as the exterior of this truck. It's like going the extra mile. You didn't have to do it, but I'm glad they did and uh, the, next, the next owner will get to reap those benefits. Now in the back, helping this truck handle even better, something it didn't get from the factory was this thick little sway bar here. So that will tighten up your handling in the back. It also relocated the factory shock mounts. And then of course we've got a lower spring and a shorter shock to achieve that stance we've been talking about. Disc brakes with the integrated parking brake this mechanism here is essential. It keeps the stock lever working just like it would have been back in 72. We have an adjustable pan hard bar to make sure this axle stays square under the truck and it's dialed in right. Keep coming back. We see the bed floor is mint as can be. Frame rail straight, nothing looks tweaked like it's ever been hit. And we've got these exhaust exiting very symmetrically out of either side. Uh, something you don't see if you're behind the truck, you just hear it, you know where it's going. Super slick, subtle detail, I dig it. And that about wraps up the underside here. Hey guys, thank you for tuning in with us today. If you like this truck, think you wanna know anything more about it, it might be the one for you, who knows? Um, give us a buzz, that number is 248-714-2000.
2110. I'm gonna put that number in our email down in the description of this video, and I'm also gonna include a link to our website. That's where you can check out the whole gallery of pictures from top to bottom, a full write-up. And uh, feel free, we check out, we got a lot, of, a lot of cool other cars on there as well. Um, lastly, thank you for taking the time. Feel free to like and subscribe. And if you're up for it, leave us a comment, give us some constructive criticism, what you liked, what you didn't, what you wanted to see here. Cool, cool, thank you much. We'll see you in another video.